Hello drummers, it's Rob Litton here from drumstheword.com and welcome to this free full video song lesson where today I'm going to show you how to play the song Dive by Nirvana, drums by their original drummer Chad Channing. As usual, I've got the full PDF for you to download from my website for free, so all three pages of the song fully transcribed for you. Find the link beneath this video, go over to the website, have these printed out in front of you as we go through this lesson together. It's going to make things a lot easier for you to understand. This song was suggested over on my YouTube page a couple of weeks ago on the community tab. I asked you guys um, for your song suggestions, then you, uh, you, you, you typed in your suggestions in the post and then upvoted other songs that you liked in the list. And the most popular ones, the ones that got the most likes, got chosen. Uh, and I, I, I promised you guys that I'd be doing at least three from the list, and this was one of the most popular ones. I want to do a couple more as well, so there'll be more from that list. But just to know that this was taken from um, my YouTube community, and if you, if you still want to make your song suggestions over there, you'll find the post still exists. Go over there, make your song suggestions, but then most usually for me as well, is to go and upvote other songs in the list. And like I say, the most popular ones will be chosen for future lessons. So this is a beginner lesson. There's no reason why a new drummer couldn't sort of pick up six and have a go at this straight away. There's nothing really complicated going on, apart from right at the beginning. And I will simplify some of the other drum fills as well as we go through this. Um, but there's this super, super fast drum fill right at the beginning of the song. Before we go into that though, there's um, uh, four bars of intro with the bass guitar. And I've seen other drummers online, and perhaps there was an original recording because this song was a B-side from a single. Uh, and perhaps it was re-recorded in the studio. I haven't looked into it properly, but I've seen other drummers, including Chad, uh, Chad um, including Dave Grohl play it live, where instead of playing this super fast drum for I'm about to show you, he plays one, two, three, four, one, and we're into our first bar of groove. So you play three bars of rest, dum, 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 dum. One, two, three, four, dun, 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 into our first groove. So you could just play that drum fill if it's good enough for uh, Dave Grohl live, then it's, it's good enough for you. I'm just simply playing a flam on the snare drum. A flam is just two sticks coming down, slightly separated. So we get a blap, blap, blap. They're not at the same time, they're slightly separated. If you find flams a little bit difficult, you could replicate that sound by playing the floor tom and snare drum together to give that sort of meaty feel. Or just a snare drum on its own will work absolutely fine. It won't, it won't sound the same, of course, though. So going on to the actual drum fill, what happens from beat three, we get a set of triplets, 60th note triplets, taking up the whole of beat three and the whole of beat four. Six notes in beat three, six notes in beat four. One and two and three to the antito, four to the antito, da, da, ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba so at this sort of faster tempo, this sort of blur, and you can't really count them, so you have to sort of feel them. This is definitely not for beginners, this drum fill. Like I said, this three, four would be the one that you'd, you'd play. But on the recording, we get this drum fill. Now, what I think he's playing, it's two on the snare drum, four on the high tom, and then it sounds like the next tom is lower, so two on the snare drum, and then four on the lowest tom. All as one flow of notes. So super fast, and you've got to be relaxed and be able to play that smoothly to make it work. Um, so that's what we're hearing on the recording. But just, just for fun, I thought I'd also mention, because when I first heard it, I was trying to transcribe it, I thought maybe it's playing that, what I'm, what I'm about to show you, these bottom triplets, which, which Dave Grohl's a master at playing. But you can, if you listen carefully, you can definitely hear it's not the bass drum being used, it's the toms being used. But you could, for fun, if you wanted to play and perhaps um, make it a little bit easier for your hands, Right, left foot, right, left foot, and then right, left foot, right, left foot. We still get the two snare drum notes at the beginning, but the bass drum and the toms are taking up the four notes that occur on each of the toms. Um, to come out of it though, you've got to be able to play two bass drums next to each other, like that at the end going into the crash cymbal. So that's how I, I would imagine Dave Grohl to have played it live, but turns out he didn't. So if you're more comfortable with that lick, you could use that instead, but it's what we hear on the recording, and for the um, complete beginners, that will work just fine. 
So then we go on to our first uh, groove, which is still the intro technically, and we're playing quarter notes on the hi-hat, the closed hi-hat. It's a two bar phrase. Without the crash symbol on beat one, we're playing one and two and three and four and one and two, three, four and one. So we've got some bass drums falling in between the hi-hats on their own there. Snare drum on beats two and four, play it again for you. One and two and three. And then from beat four, it's perhaps the tricky bit for, for a new drummer, is to skip over the bass drum on beat one of the second bar. Four and one and. Four and one and two, three and four and. And it resolves back to the beginning of the two bar phrase again. But notice the hi-hat is not changing. It's just where the bass drum is falling underneath. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. That's all the tempo, isn't it? So just briefly, we get the intro drum fill. One and two and... And of course up to speed, and I'll play it properly in a moment without the microphone on. One, two. Or, as we talked about. Okay, so then the two bar phrase continues again for bars three and four. No crash symbol notice. The second line, exactly the same, two bar phrase. Bar three, we have the uh, beginning of the two bar phrase, and then bar four, we come out of it a little bit earlier for this drum fill. We get one and two still, like we were playing the second bar, but then we come in just before beat three with this single line of 16th notes around the drums. One and two, we yanda. So what we're, what we're gonna be playing here is a three E, and three there on beat three with the right hands, we're playing that left hand just before it on the three, just before the three on the uh of two technically. One and two, a three E and a four E and a. Three, two, four. Now if you find coming in just before beat three and it's interfering with, with your groove and it's messing out for you, you could leave out that skip note on the uh of two and just start the drum fold on beat three. So you could play instead, let's play bars three and four together. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and a four e and a one. And that's relevant later on for other, other drum fills in the song where we get this extra little skip note just before beat three. If you're finding it hard to come in on time, then you could just leave out that skip note on the uh of two and come in on beat three instead. So my suggestion would be to play up to speed. Loop it round. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and a four, and a one. But on the recording, he plays this. Two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and a four, and a one. Two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and a four, and a one. So then we go on to the verse, verse one, and we're up to the ride cymbal. We get a crash on beat one. It's the same um, bass drum, snare drum pattern as the verses, except we're playing all the eighth notes this time. Instead of quarter notes, we're playing one and two and three on the ride cymbal. So perhaps a little bit easier for you if you're not used to leaving gaps with the, with the right hand. He plays one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four. So you can hear it's exactly the same bass drum pattern, it's just we're playing all the notes now on the ride cymbal. If you want to do that for the verses, by the way, if you really find those quarter notes difficult, then you could play that instead if you wanted to. It won't sound the same, of course, but if you're really finding that independence there with the right hand difficult, play all the eighth notes for the hi-hat. But on the right cymbal, that, that's what he's doing. He also skips over the right cymbal on the and of one. He goes one, two, and three, and comes in with a ride on beat two, rather than one and two and if you wanted to come down to the right symbol for the and of one, you could do that, but on the recording, Chad doesn't. So the first line, one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, four, and uh, uh, uh. That 
that um, two bar pattern gets played for all four bar, four lines there. But the very last bar, we get this distinctive drum fill. So it start, the bar starts again up to bar two, like we're playing the second bar of the pattern. One and two. But then we get this, um, this drum fill. One and two, a three and four e and. Left, right, left, right, left, right. One and two, a three and four e and. Again, it has that skip note on the uh of two, which you might find a little bit tricky to come in with the timing. So you could just play three and four e and. You could play one, two and three, four and one and two, three and four e and. But he's playing one, two and three, four and one and two. So if you heard the song enough times, you can sort of memorise that rhythm. Dun 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 da 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 da. So then we go into chorus one, and we get this two bar phrase at the beginning of each of the lines. We're playing a symbol, crash symbol on beat one, one. A flam on beat two, and then this and three. If you've got two crash cymbals, great. Right, left. If you've only got one crash cymbal, fine. Right, right, it doesn't matter. Or you use your right cymbal as the second crash cymbal. It's nice to have the two different crash cymbal sounds for this. But he plays one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. It's playing the flam snare drum on two and four. Again, you could play, if you can't play a flam or just a single snare drum, but he's coming up to the crash cymbals for the da da with the bass drums. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. We then go back to the hi hats for bar three. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two. And basically, it's the same drum fill as the end of verse one. Well, it is the same drum fill. So we get one, two, and three, four, and one, and two. Then the second line is exactly the same. Four and one, two and three, four and one and two, three and four and one, two and three, four and one and two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one and two, and four and. Then we get this two bar line at the very bottom. Start the same one, two and one, two and three, but then instead of playing um, uh, and three, four, and one. He plays and three, and a four, and a. So coming in on the and a beat three there. One, two, and three, and a four, and a. Starting on the and a three with the right hand, six snare drum notes. So we get. Might catch you off a little, uh, catch you off guard a little because. We're ending that drum fill, those two bars, a little bit earlier on the and of three and coming in with this extended drum fill just on the snare drum. So that last one again, one, two and three, four and one, two and three, and the four, and the one. So you could just play four and if you miss the and, you could play one and two and three and four and up, but it comes in on the and, one, two and three and four. So we're going to get to the uh, last part of the chorus before I play it all up to speed for you. Chorus one continued on page two. Um, we get back to our, our basically our, uh, what's well, the chorus, it's the intro groove. Quarter notes on the hi-hats, one, two and three, four and one and two, three and four and one. There's a little bit of improvisation here. We get a crash cymbal on beat, uh, on bar three, beat one of bar three. So look out for that if you want to play it note for note. Second line. Two bar phrase continues, and then we get the same drum fill coming out as we had for the intro. One and two, a three and a four e and a, except a snare and crash on beat two. So bars three and four, one, two and three, four and one and two, a three and a four e and a. It's exactly the same as playing two, but on a crash. And one and two e and a, three and a four e and a one. Then we're into our second verse, which is back to the right symbol. So before we go on, let me now play for you all of this up to speed. I'm going to start from the intro, verse one, chorus one, chorus one continued at the top of page two. Here, all that sounds like in one, one piece without me yakking on over the top so you can hear just the drums. Here we go.
So you've pretty much got the song down now. With those four sections, three sections, you, you've got all the, all the parts of the song. So it's just a case of now showing you where the differences are. So in verse two, uh, for whatever reason, uh, Chad doesn't play an extra bass drum though on the and a beat three in bar two. So that one line there, we get one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, three, four, and one. Just that one bass drum on beat three, not three and. If you want to play it note for note, that's what Chad is playing. Crash cymbal on beat one, of bar three, so look out for that, and it crash cymbal there. Um, I can't remember if he plays one and two, as I've written, it might be one and two. I'm gonna double check this before you see the chart, so I think it's gonna be one, two, and three again, where you're skipping the and of one, but you can come back to the right cymbal, it's not so fast you couldn't. Okay, the second line, uh, just the two bar pattern continues, bar line three starts with the crash cymbal. Uh, continues and then the, the bottom line as well and it comes out the same way one and two three and four and chorus two I believe is exactly the same as chorus one in every way um, yes it's exactly the same as chorus one so we don't have to go over that where it continues we get uh, let's just double check this we get the same uh, two lines um, with the drum fill at the end of the page one and two, and a boogie and a, just like we had uh, at the end of chorus one, at the top of the page. So going on to page three, we've got the bass guitar solo, we're on the right and we're basically playing the verse, four lines of verse groove, um, and it's it's you know, sticking to the same rhythms, so we've got some crash cymbals on beat one of bar one, of line one and, and line three. Uh, then we get the outro drum fill into chorus three, one and two, three and four and. Chorus three, let's just double check this, I believe it's exactly the same, yes, exactly the same, uh, apart from the, the very last bar of chorus three, where before we had uh, one, two and three, and a forty under, well, this time, just for the last time, he plays one, two and three, a forty under. So coming on the, in the, on the uh of beat three, not the and, so we're skipping, leaving one note out and doing that little skip note just before beat four, rather than playing right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, crash. So one, two, and three, a three, and a one. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, a three, and a one. So if you wanted to play and a four, and a, just to play the same as the previous choruses, no one's gonna notice the difference. You could do that absolutely fine. So then the very last uh, section, we just got uh, the the uh, the, uh, uh, the chorus grooves. Yeah, the chorus grooves leading us out. The very bottom line, two more uh, bars of that pattern, and then the very last two bars, we get a slight difference to the ends. One and two. So that starts the same as the second bar of the two-bar pattern. But then we get a bass drum on the end of two. One and two and three. One and two and three. And it's the uh, four e yander drum fill again, where you're coming in on the very last 16th note of beat three, just before beat four. One and two and three, four e yander one. So the last three bars there, one, two and three, four and one and two and three, four e yander one. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four e yander one. You could play one, two and three, four and one and two, three and four e yander one and leave out that little skip note if you wanted to. Again, it won't sound the same, but you could if that, if that snare drum on the uh, a three with the left hand is causing you issues. So before we finish, let me now play for you the last line of chorus three, just so we can get that, that new ending to the chorus, and then all the way to the end of the song, the last four lines of the page, basically. Up to speed, here we go. So I hope you found the lesson useful. Again, this is a, a great song for beginners, so you have to forgive me if I um, uh, spent my time uh, explaining these parts. Um, for you more advanced intermediate drummers, you, you're probably going, yeah, come on, I know this bit, get to the next bit, but for a new drummer, 
um, you'd be surprised how how uh, difficult it can be to 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 play something you've been playing for years. So as a new beginner drummer, have a go at this. Take out some of the beats and practice them on their own. Um, and if you know the song really well and you've got some sort of uh, independence going on with your bass drum foot, you should be able to follow the, the melody anyway with the, with the bass drum. Uh, don't forget to download all three pages of the PDF from my website. Again, the link is beneath this video. If you've got any questions about it, you can email me, robertdrumstheword.com. And then while you're at my website, you might want to consider signing up to become an online member. And what I currently offer for £97 is a full year's online access to every single full video song lesson I've ever recorded and transcribed. And that's over 550 songs where just like this, I teach you the song from start to finish to get the fully transcribed PDF drum chart. I've got over 100 beginner song lessons up on the website already. And out of those uh, uh, 550 songs, I would say I'm coming up to probably about 15 Nirvana songs, including a load of... Um, Foo Fighters, so if you're a fan of, uh, of Dave Grohl, there's loads of Foo Fighters stuff on, up, up on the website already. So tons and tons of Nirvana and Dave Grohl stuff to get your teeth into uh, if you're a fan. As so a thank you for signing up, I give you access to hundreds more videos, teaching you many, many famous drum beats, fills, and even drum solos. I give you three ebooks I've written over the years containing hundreds more famous beats, fills, and solos. And then over the year of your subscription, you also gain instant online access to all the new material that I upload for my members. And I record new lessons every week, and there's some ill on holiday. So you've got lots of cool stuff to look forward to over the year of your subscription. But if you've got any questions about any of that, then feel free to email me, robertdrumstheword.com. And until our next drum lesson together, Toodle Pip, and happy drumming to you.